Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nipper uh, said. Was it warm enough for you to go get the whole headset? Yeah, that's a good question. Now, throwing it back at you, do you think it's warning enough to go and get this new headset? <laughs> after what you just talked about, <laughs> are you going to get this new headset? Uh, it's definitely in the back of my mind right now. It's after re hey, you know, it's not really for, for gamers and this, that, and the fifth, but it does have uh, backwards compatibility. So you can play Quest 2 applications. It's going to have its own store where you can actually download games. But I get from a you know a business aspect, um, where you can kind of utilize that. So I was thinking, hey, why not use that to scan my, I could use that to scan my, my man cave, the the YouTube clips, and you can see like the, like a VR aspect of the shoes and stuff like that. So, <laughs> all right, so you saw a clip as to, you know, me on the Sherwin Tonight Show, at least uh, Sherwin Productions. And anybody that's been on uh, Alt Space and you've been watching his shows, listen, uh, from what I understand, it, it should be continuing on in VR chat. So you know, look out for notifications, at least from Sherwood himself, uh, which will basically show you guys uh, when the production of his future videos, his future shows will uh, conduct in VR chat. Um, but you've seen this clip and, you know, it is something that I have been thinking about um, doing in the future. It's just that for $1,500, I didn't think it was warranted, Right. Uh, and then you fast forward to, if I'm not mistaken, about two and a half weeks ago, that's when uh, Meta actually announced that they would be dropping the, the price of the Quest Pro headset um, in augmented reality uh, slash virtual reality, kind of putting the, the, the two together and being able to, to create designs um, and kind of interact with 3D virtual objects um, that can be parsed from the real world. So... Uh, it was something that I was thinking about for, for a while. Uh, I wasn't sure. Um, it's, for those that don't know, I still have the uh, the Meta Quest 2, but it's the original Meta Quest 2. The original Meta Quest 2 has um, the Oculus. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you see how it has the Oculus logo on it? Um, when you buy the Meta Quest 2, um, at least recently, it'll show the Meta logo on your controllers. So for those that don't have... Or at least for those that have two and you're trying to figure out you ever get it mixed up, just know that the, the logos are different. So, you know, I do have my Quest 2 headset and, you know, as, as much as I love playing around with it, uh, making modifications, uh, I felt like, you know what, let me do something that a lot of people probably won't see coming. And, um, <laughs> well, let me just put it this way. A lot of people did not, <laughs> at least I did not uh, see myself getting this. Now, I will be, your boy will be busy for the next probably like two weeks because I want to learn the ins and outs of this. Uh, I know enough to be dangerous, but, you know, I like to, to thoroughly um, look at things and, and kind of, although it's been advertised to work a certain way, I like to think outside the box sometimes. So, you know, this will be interesting for uh, at least the feature of the Milton Nipperson channel. Um, and just me using it for, for personal use in general. And I can still use games as well. But, you know, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I actually, I, you know, I didn't keep the same energy, at least uh, when I did the um, the video. But, again, that was the price point. Um, and this, if I'm not mistaken, is 128 gigs worth of RAM. Whereas the Quest 2, I think, is 6 gigs of RAM. So, when you think of RAM, things about... Um, you know, the amount of applications you can run at the same time without feeling any lag. Um, that's also coupled with the actual processor if it's a Snapdragon um, processor and, and this one, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, that's why I haven't been going aggressive with sneakers lately. Uh, I, I definitely had my my, uh, my ideas for uh, this headset and um, this channel. So it'll be very interesting moving forward. But your boy, Mel Nipperson, man, that is the big news. I was trying to keep it quiet, but I did not expect Meta to send this that quick. In fact, I mean, a funny story is I went to go purchase this online. Um, then I got a call from actually multiple <laughs> notifications from, <clears throat> excuse me, the the credit card company that I used. And they're like, is this, 
this fraud? I'm like, no, <laughs> it's not. And, um, you know, so long story short, I ended up going to, to get it, had to work things out with the credit card company because they just thought that somebody was using my card to get this. But that's, that's me, it's your boy. Boy, what is it, man? I am out. Got to get busy. MetaQuest Pro in the building. I'll take a look at this. We'll, we'll, we'll see what it's about. But you guys, stay blessed. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Milt Nificent, and Firebox teaming up because we would like to give you guys 10% off any Firebox merchandise. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Use code Millie Milt, and you're on your way. I am out. You guys, stay blessed.